round laces for the third time today. They tied or what? Yeah, yeah. They're fine. All right, let's make a trip. <sighs> what is what is this thing we're going to? You're not gonna embarrass me in front of my friends, right? No. What is this thing we're going to? Though? It's just a work party. We went to Eric's place. I don't think I don't think I've even met Eric. Oh, I just started working at this place in September, so you haven't met any of these people. Okay. So. Although, I did tell him that you love Scrabble, so he'll have that ready when we get there. Fucking serious? Yeah. No. Are we, no, are we actually gonna play Scrabble? I'm not kidding. You don't wanna play Scrabble? No, I don't wanna play, I hate Scrabble. Fuck. I told him you love Scrabble. No, you didn't. And you wouldn't come unless you play Scrabble. Fuck off. You didn't, no, you didn't, okay? I didn't tell him we're gonna play Scrabble. Good. Jesus. Man. Good, no, I'm, no, cause I would leave. Yeah, I know you would. I would, I would get up and go. It's gonna be girls there, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good, don't worry. It's gonna okay. be girls there? Yep. Are they like... What? Are they what? Well, what, are you, what are you talking about? Huh? Are they like... What are you trying attractive? to say? Fuck. Uh, well, I only know one of them. So... Okay. Uh, the and? This girl I work with. Oh, she's alright. She's alright? No, she's pretty, you know. What is it? She's pretty, you know. You're not saying anything. You're not saying well, anything. You just have to judge for You're yourself. You're saying she's pretty, you You'll know. You just have to judge for is yourself. Is she pretty? Or is she pretty, you know? I don't know. Pretty, you know, I, ugly. You're going to have to judge for yourself. Fuck, that's all I'm going to say. Okay? That's literally useless. The only problem is that uh, I think everyone there is kind of matched up, you know? So why are we going? What do you mean? Well, what's the point? Well, you know, we got this. We got this. We got a chance. We got chips, so that yeah. helps our chances. Girls love chips. What are you talking Girls about? Girls love chips? Yes. Have okay. you ever met a girl that didn't like chips? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah? You've never met a girl that didn't like chips? That's like a universal Some weird girl, man. Well, if my I nose know. is uh, running like this... Jeez! It's yeah, gonna be yeah. pretty... pretty charming, It's gonna yeah. kill your game. Yeah. Speaking of which, how's the, uh, how's the game going in Chicago? What do you mean? You know what I mean? How's it the going? The game? Yeah, how's your game going? Like with girls? Yeah, what else, what else would I be talking about? The game? Um... I don't know. It's not that good. What do you mean? Yeah. It's probably not relaxing enough. Right? No. I just gotta Use calm my... down. Jesus Christ. See? That's the kind of thing you need to take advantage of. Fuck. We've got all these girls like that on campus. No, no, not like that. See, what we need to do is... We need to use this. This no. is the key right here. What here. is that? Have a swig. Why did we buy this? If we have, have a that? swig. Why did we buy this? This is just for us. This is some good shit. I don't trust you at all. When have I ever let you down, huh? Smells like nail polish. That's perfect. That's how Why it should smell. Why did we spell. buy this if we have that? This is just for us. Here. Here, pass it over. Fuck me. Oh, yeah. Woof. <coughs> That's the shit. All right, you good? Yeah. You ready to party yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It'll be fun. Don't worry about it. Well, okay. not if it's not if it's Scrabble. Fucking Dale scheduled me for both New Year's and Christmas. He did the same fucking thing to me. Like, I, I specifically asked uh, for New Year's off, mm -hmm. and I got exactly that shift. Like, it's ridiculous. We should just call in sick with Ebola or something. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, what do you got there? Uh, just some whiskey, actually, so if anyone wants uh, to partake. Right on, this guy knows how to party. <laughs> anyone up for a card game? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Could be fun. So, uh... Oh, thanks, man. So, Ben, you said you work with Katie. Yeah, well, I work at the ticket office. So. Oh, let's stop talking about work. <laughs> yeah, have, have you guys seen that raccoon video where he's eating peanut butter? 
Oh yeah, the yeah. raccoon. Okay, so he's got like a jar of peanut butter, right? And he's just putting these little paws in it and eating the peanut butter directly out of the jar. Yeah. He's got all over his paws and like his face and everything. Yeah. Oh, and it's so fucking funny. Mm, yeah. Oh my god, it's so cute. He's just like smearing the peanut butter all over. Yeah. Like, ah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you're getting all of it a little whisper. Raccoon and peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty funny, but it's like, it's pretty responsible. Yeah. He's just so creepy. It just sucks because he's a really good interviewer. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, at least until that ninth woman came forward. And the teddy bear. Like, who said that? Was that Lucy from Trailer Park Boys? I think she was the first, yeah. Yeah, I think you were. Right. I don't know, guys. I, like, I'm pretty sure he's innocent until proven guilty. Like, we don't know that he's guilty until he's had a fair trial. I think it's pretty obvious at this point. How, yeah, wasn't he recently charged? Yeah, well, okay, so even if he's charged, even if it is obvious, that doesn't mean he's guilty. I think they should call in uh, Billy Bob Thornton as a witness. <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously, like we, we, we don't know all the details. We don't know how everything played out, and we won't know until the court decide that. Only the teddy bear knows. <laughs> oh, hoy hoy. Hey man, I uh, didn't think you were going to make it. Uh, you know me. Yo. How's it going, so, dude? How's it going? It's my brother Noah. What's hey, going on, little squirt? Good to meet you. Hey, Katie, what's up? Hey, right, you coming. How's it going, dude? Hi. Ooh, firm handshake you out there, bud. <clears throat> so where were you, man? Oh, man, I was at this crazy house party. These two chicks are fighting about a cell phone or something. I don't know, something about a boyfriend. Anyways, they're on top of each other, scratching, pulling their hair Jesus. out. I got cut up and obviously <laughs> ended in a threesome. What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> maybe a lot less uncomfortable. Maybe that's is what R. Kelly was doing. He was just saving her from uh, jellyfish. Hey guys, I uh, I just remembered. I picked up Age of Civilization six. Oh. You guys want to check it out? Seriously? Well, that's yeah, man. Let's go. That's a no-brainer. Seriously, dude, you're gonna love it. Yeah, sure. I'll be right in, right in there, man. Better. You guys gonna crack this open or what? Go for it, man. Ladies? Sure. And yourself? Sure. Boys? Absolutely. He's far enough away, guys. I don't have a bowl. Let him sit down. <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's play a game. What kind of game? Mm, never have I ever. Oh, I actually never played that. <laughs> no, no, for real. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, who's gonna get us started? Katie, you should start. Okay. Um. Never have I ever had sex in public. Really. I thought we were gonna talk about that one. Shut up. Alright. Wait, have you done it? Have Sorry. you done it? No. Okay, so you don't drink. Oh, okay. What a dude. Alright. I'll give this one a shot. Never have I ever had sex with one of my professors. Ooh. Fuck you! <laughs> hmm. Come on, I know you got something. Never have I ever had sex in my parents' bed. <laughs> Seriously? He's a rude boy. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Who's that? That's Eric's roommate. Safe.
gonna smoke some weed. This is really good whiskey. Oh, thank you. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm glad you like it. Uh, did you pick it out? Uh, yeah, actually, it's one of my favorites. <clears throat> Not that I have, you know, a, a drawer of them, but... Well, you, you have really good taste. Oh, thanks. Uh, so what do you do? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm studying nursing right now. Oh, okay. Fantastic. How what do you a, like that? I like it a lot. Uh, what about you? Um, you're going down. Ow. Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to go that hard. Jesus, I'm <sighs> playing this game with you ever again. Yeah, I just started there in September, actually. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, what's it like? Uh, the city's great, and the people are really nice, which is good. Uh, yeah, I, I have no complaints. The, the girls must be all over you. What? What's that smell? Guys, take it outside. Come on. When, what the hell? We talked about this. Did we or did we not agree that this was a drug-free zone? It's going to smell in here for days. Um, Katie? Um, Where are they going? Sure. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, are you guys leaving? Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. We, we have to get up really early tomorrow. All right. Great party, though, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Fuck, Barbara, it's been a minute since I've been to that joint. I can remember one night I went with my buddy that worked for the government. I like to make that paper fly and impress <laughs> those little pretty biddies. <laughs> Anyways, one night uh, he decided we were going to get bottle service. Bought a couple oh, bottles of the Champagne and... Uh, <laughs> Tried to make things pop off, literally. Yeah. Uh oh. Next thing you know, I'm waking up with three road signs folded up in my pocket <laughs> and, a, and a bill for $300 just for the liquor. Jesus. God knows what we spent on lap dances. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was a girl there that he got a lap dance from, particularly pretty and buxom. And uh, she, uh, she was staring at me. It was kind of weird, you know, give my buddy a lap dance and staring into my soul. but. Is that the one you ended up taking? Yeah, I ended up yeah, taking yeah, her yeah. home. Yeah. He took the other girl home and uh, didn't realize it was a paid for service. <laughs> oh, ended up with Johnny Bravo at the door trying to break <laughs> his legs. So. Oh, oh my god. Fuck, are you yeah. serious? Anyways, we ended up having a threesome that night. Not that night. We had a threesome? Yeah. With who? Wait, with no, you and the not girl? With, not with the buddy. Not with no, the buddy. No, not, not with, with the government guy. guy. Yeah, no, yeah no, okay. No. I was going to no. say that's. Wait, have you? It's bad news. Have you heard it? He's never been to threesome. Are you kidding me? He's been tied down with that succubus for years. Yeah, what happened with that? Uh, she moved away from school. Like, uh, oh, true. It's beginning of the year. Yeah. She wanted to have fun in Montreal. Ah, fuck it, man. She was a slut anyways. <clears throat> so what about you, Noah? I thought you had a girlfriend for a while or something. I did. Before I left, I did for a bit. Um, it just got too calm. When I went for school, bitches, eh? so little time. Yeah, no, I'm drowning it. It's actually kind of gross. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, right? right. Natural yeah, Don Juan. Yeah. yeah, not quite, I guess. But well, I thought you lived on on campus in the dorm. Yeah, so no, no, I do. No, I do. I, I live in a residence. I mean, the thing, kid, okay, the, the school itself is good for uh, like girl to guy ratio, as are most universities. But like, girls my boys. yeah, my, yeah, my spot specifically, my residence is. You know, not great for that. Yeah. It's all about supply and demand, you know? <laughs> yeah. I what you gotta I do, guess. I'll tell you, this is what I did my first year. Natural Van Wilder. I believe it. First thing you gotta do is go to a joke shop, get yourself a wig. <laughs> get a Maybe wig. get dressed. If you like wearing ladies' underwear, it's cool too, you know? Okay. No judgment. But, uh, yeah, nice. get in the get up. Yeah. Put on a little rouge. Go Six. up to the all girls floor. Oh, it's gotta okay. be one. Every daddy's scared of that, you know? <laughs> Put all the girls in one spot. Biggest mistake either. You know? Okay, yeah. It's, it's like fucking shooting bunnies in a basket. <laughs> like, next okay. thing you do, go in there. Yeah. Quick in, quick out. Wham bam. Jesus. Thank you, man. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. I should be taking notes from this guy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's easy. 
I tried to teach your brother here, but yeah. he's too busy staring off in La La Land looking at. Yo, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, what's the deal, bud? <sighs> she looks so sad. Yeah, she looks a little lonely. Maybe you should go cheer her up. What are we talking about specifically? Maybe I will. Get in there. Oh fuck, he's going for it. All right. Alright, we'll talk to her. Okay. Just sitting here by yourself? Yep. Thought your friends leave or? No, I just got off work. So tired. What are you drinking? Gin and tonic. Can I get a rum and coke and uh, gin and tonic, please? Thanks. So how do you like working here? It's okay. The people are pretty cool. Yeah, I just found out about this place. I really like it. So what do you do with the rest of your time? I'm in school. Cool. What are you studying? Psychology, but I think I'm probably going to drop out. <laughs> I don't blame you. That's what I did. Thanks. Oh, really? How come? Well, I was in a band, but uh, we ended up breaking up. Were you any good? Uh, I don't know. We toured for a while, but it just didn't work out. Well, at least you tried, right? <laughs> well, that's what I tell myself anyway. So why are you dropping out? Well, I really just... I just want to be a dancer. A dancer? What kind of dancer? I've been doing ballet for 10 years and I really love it. It's all I want to do. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. Good for you. Tell that to my parents. What do you mean? They're really conservative. They would disown me if I did something like that. So what do they want you to do? Settle down, have kids. Right now? Mm-hmm. Man. As soon as possible. I can barely take care of myself. I know, right? So let's say you're going to go for it. How would you do it? Well, my dream has always been to move into New York City because they have lots of really good dance companies there. Yeah, that's been my plan since I was like 12. That's awesome. Have you ever been? No. You? Yeah, we played a show there uh, a while ago. So, yeah. How was it? Um, it was, it was wild. You know, it's everything's going on there and it's like everything's going on at once. I mean, it's hard to describe, but it's like a different world, you know? Yeah. So I hear. You should do it. I know, and I want to. It's just, I feel like I have too many attachments here right now, you know? Do you see yourself doing anything else? No. So those things are just holding you back. <laughs> so you would just drop everything and move to New York? If I was good at ballet, I'd get my tickets tomorrow. You laugh, but I want to do ballet at one point too, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, for real. Uh... I was maybe six years old, um, and I was watching the Nutcracker on TV, um, and I just loved it. So I begged my parents to get me ballet lessons. So what happened? Well, I showed up for one lesson, and I was like, man, this was way cooler on TV. Um, yeah, I quit right then and there, but uh, I mean, I admire you for sticking with it. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. Sometimes I think I should have stuck with it, because the uh, girl the guy wish was pretty good. Yeah, well, it's pretty competitive, though. I'm picturing a scene from Black Swan right now. Oh, God, it's not like that. Well, not all the time. You a competitive person? I guess when I'm dancing, I am. I think when you're competitive at something, it means that you really can't do anything else. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's just kind of tough when everyone thinks you're crazy for doing it. I don't think you're crazy. Thanks. What's crazy is doing a job you hate your whole life. Yeah, well, that's what my parents did, and they think that's what life is all about. What about your friends? No, they don't really get it either. Really? Yeah, because, you know, all they care about is their boyfriends and getting a house in the suburbs and then getting married and then having kids. Ha, <laughs> man, who are these people? My friends from high school. I don't know, I guess I should make new friends, but I just haven't really had time. 
So you don't have anyone you can talk to about this? Well, my best friend gets it, but she goes to school halfway across the country now, so we don't talk as much. But she's coming home for Christmas, which is nice. My little brother just came home for Christmas. Are you close? Um, I mean, yeah, I guess we're close. Yeah, um, he just kind of scares me sometimes. What do you mean? Well, I mean, he's super smart. He's like a boy genius, and sometimes I think he's too smart for his own good, you know? So, just kind of trying to help him relax, you know? You should bring him out for beers. Yeah, well, that's the plan, you know? I'm trying to get him as drunk as possible during the holidays. What about you? Any siblings? Nope. Only child. I guess my parents thought I was enough trouble on my own. You a troublemaker as a kid? I don't think so. I think my parents always just thought I was a bit weird. Probably still do. I like weird people. Me too. I don't know, maybe that's my problem too. I just think too much. Um, I just, I think about my parents coming here from all the way back home and how it would be a slap in the face to them if I didn't, you know, become successful or something. What about dancing? That's not exactly their definition of success. Well, what is success anyway? Yeah. I don't know, I guess I just want to make them happy. I just, I guess I should stop overthinking every aspect of my life, but I can't help it. Dancing is the only time when I can stop thinking. Everything becomes simple and straightforward. Like, just why do I feel like me being happy is going to end up hurting other people? I don't know. I don't know if I'm just being selfish or if I'm just not being honest with myself. Speaking of which, I gotta go. My boyfriend's waiting for me outside. Oh. Okay. But thanks for listening. Uh, yeah. Of course, yeah. No problem. Cheers. Cheers. Will I ever see you again? I'll be working next Friday. Oh, by the way, the drinks are on me. I get them for free after one.